Barrow, how are you? What, were you? what happened to you yesterday? Huh? Yeah, this way. Uh, <laughs> what happened to you yesterday? What's your name? Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> Russia? Yes. <coughs> How old are you? I'm eight years. Yeah, you speak good English. <laughs> <laughs> you study in English school? No. No? With my teacher, with my teacher. Yeah, I can't hear. With my teacher, it's high. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you have a very good accent. American accent. <laughs> <laughs> Your teacher's from America? Is the question out of your friend? Huh? What is he? Is the question out of him? Well, I have to squeeze him. Ah, yeah, he's your. <laughs> huh? The question is out of you, or I have to squeeze you for the, the, the in the question? And you were preparing yesterday, eh? So, what is your question? cycle of birth and death. But how many really realize that point? Not so many. Even if they, you know, in our culture, how it is, you know, you hear it, continuously people remind you, but yet, not many, many really desire to go back, to break that circle. So that's why the real purpose of life is to finish that cycle of birth. and never come back here. Because here is a vicious place. Once you come back, you get trapped. <laughs> and here the host cycle the Maya again and again. That's why even when we look at, you know, in the Bhagavad, the beautiful story of uh, Jaya and Vijaya. How they were cursed to be, you know, by the Kumaras to be born thousands of life on earth. No. But even being born, 
big boon. The one bless them to it doesn't matter you'll be both thousand of life, but you'll be my devotee. And this is it, thousands of life. You know, imagine these are Dwarpa which is eternal also like Shivanarayana. But yet they realize how stupid it is to be born thousand times even being devotees. That's why then they have the option of the one gives them okay fine. If thousand life is too much for you being devotee, then you have you can take birth three times as my enemy. And they said, okay, better be your enemy. But there's a catching point in that. Because the enemy think of the you think of your enemy more than uh, of your dearest one, no? So like that. The enemy is constantly in the mind, isn't it? So then the one coming to freeze So he leave Bakuta himself and he found it to freeze them. To liberate them. So if they are eternally next to him, they realize that even thousand life is nothing to millions of life which humans have taken. Do you understand? So through your life you have gone through 8.5 or 8.4 million life species until you become human. That's the journey of life. 8.4 million incarnation. And then you have a human being incarnate. So then from human you have even maybe thousands or millions of lives again. Until you come to a point of realizing the realization doesn't this happen at that. So that grace which God gave you, you have to take that opportunity. So that even them be eternally seated at the gate of Vaikuntha, they realize that. Huh? Why human is so dumb? I'm asking myself. <laughs> and what is the answer? <laughs> what is the answer? No. <laughs> there is no answer. <laughs> Turn the power outside. Do you understand? That's the real purpose of life. The other purpose of life, the non-real one, is to majakaro. <laughs> Get trapped in Maya. Like I was telling you all yesterday, you know, there are only two realities. Oh, yeah, God reality and Maya reality. Both of them are eternal. You like to eternally be suffer, your choice. Or you have eternally be with God. That's also it. <laughs> but that is the whole purpose of, of life. You know, you keep on into this eternal suffering so that you can realize that that is not real. But yet that drama is what you see that every day. People are not swimming into that delusion thinking that they're reality. Are they happy? No, I think they're miserable. Because you will never find happiness here. You find happiness only when you go on the bhakti path, on the spiritual path, find really that heart contentment, which many It's quite rare. Again, spirituality doesn't mean that you have to leave everything and say, okay, yes, I'm saying, no, here in the mind, you have not to be attached. Okay, see you later on. See you later on.